These advanced robots use all the available ports on our hubs. We have two large motors for driving, two small motors for attachments, and two color sensors for detecting lines and squaring up. I'm Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab in Greenville, South Carolina. This is session seven of our first LEGO League Unearthed Challenge season. This week, we're gonna begin by discussing gracious professionalism. Then, we're going to make a drawing of our innovation project. Finally, we're going to build three advanced driving robots to determine which one our team is going to focus on the rest of the season. Gracious professionalism is a way of doing things that encourages high quality work, emphasizes the value of others, and respects individuals and the community. A great way to practice for this is doing role plays. What would you say to the judge and to the other team when you arrive to your competition? You could say, good morning, we're excited to be here. Your robot looks awesome. But there are many things that you can say that demonstrate gracious professionalism. Don't leave this up to chance. Practice it. Role play it. Come up with a script of how you're going to approach your event in order to demonstrate gracious professionalism, to have a great time yourself, and to encourage others to have a great time as well. We want to make progress on our innovation project this week. We are going to focus on creating a drawing and a description of our project. Our innovation project involves creating a drone that can help archaeologists to map a site. We want to draw a picture of our drone as well as a mapping module. Later in our research, we'll figure out what goes into this mapping module. Will it be lasers? Will it be a camera? Or some sort of sonar? The final part of our lesson today, and the majority of how we're spending our time, is we're building some advanced driving robots. You can use the advanced driving base assembly from spike.legoeducation.com, or there's lots of other resources. We built a couple of robots from flltutorials.com. When you build these robots, you're going to want to check and see, can your team code them and drive them? Which robot seems most stable? Which one are you able to build attachments to complete missions with? Some years, we don't build an advanced driving base. There are many teams that just use driving base one, two, or three from the spike.legoeducation.com website, and that is perfect. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. A simple robot can often be very successful, especially if these advanced driving bases are beyond what your team is currently capable of coding. Now join your team, Build an advanced driving robot, something that you can keep improving upon for the final part of this season, and have a great time. Don't forget to leave us a comment of what driving base are you using? Are you using two color sensors? Are you using large motors? Are you even using the expansion kit? 